Hello, my name is Gilded and I'm an actor. And since the beginning of the coronavirus lockdown, I have been reading classic books to anyone who might want to join me in front of the fire. I call it fireside reading. And mostly I've read books for adults, but I've done a few books for kids. And I was thinking about what to do next. And I remembered that I actually wrote a kid's book. It's called Red Bear. Um, I wrote it as a prop for a movie that my wife and I made. The movie's called You. And uh, part of the script, which I also wrote, and my wife directed the movie, we were both in it, and our kids are in the movie. It's a family affair. Uh, part of it was the, this needed this prop, this book, which I read from in the film. So we made it, and then as a gift to friends who helped us, I had the book made, made, and we gave it to friends. So I have a few copies of it left, and I thought I'd read it to you. So please join me. Welcome to a fireside reading of Red Bear with illustrations by my friend James Anker. And I'll show you a few of them as we go along. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his name was Edgar. Edgar loved his mummy and his daddy, and they loved him. Edgar never, however, told his mummy and daddy that he loved them, and his mummy and daddy never told him that they loved him, which is very strange, but understandable because they lived in a peculiar time and place called Victorian England. In Victorian England, children were to be seen but not heard. You called your daddy, sir. You didn't eat with your mummy and daddy. You did not cry. And when you were seven years old, you were sent away to school, only to return home during the holidays. When Edgar turned seven, he was sent away to school. His daddy shook him by the hand and told him to pack his trunk. Yes, sir, said Edgar, as he tried to stop a big tear from running down his face. Edgar packed his trunk. He had seven favorite teddy bears named Bijou, Kaiju, Jou, Junu, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh. There they are. Despite never having told Edgar that she loved him, Edgar's mummy did love him very much. And when she saw Edgar packing Bijou, Kayu, Ju, Junu, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh, she said to him, Edgar, you cannot take Bijou, Kayu, Ju, Genou, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh with you to school. Mummy, said Edgar, because fortunately in Victorian England, little children did call their mummy, Mummy. I want to take Bijou, Kayu, Ju, Genou, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh to school. I will miss them. I will miss my home. I will miss you, and I will miss Daddy. Bijou, Kayu, Ju, Genou, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh will protect and comfort me. I will be very sad if I cannot have any friends at school. You cannot take your bears to school, Edgar. There will be other boys at school, big boys, and they will tease you if they see you are a little boy who still sleeps with bears. But I am a little boy who still sleeps with bears, said Edgar. They will tease you, Edgar, and I do not think you will like being teased. 
I will not let you take your bears to school. You will make friends at school, Edgar. With the big boys who will tease me? With the boys who are your age whose mummies will also tell them not to take their bears to school. That night, Edgar kissed Bijou, Caillou, Jou, Genu, Ibu, Aju, and Pooh, and told them that he loved them, but that he would not be able to take them with him to school under the covers. They cried. The next day, the train came to take Edgar to school. Goodbye, Edgar, said his father. Goodbye, sir, said Edgar. They shook hands. Edgar's mother kissed him. She led him to the train and helped him in. She then gave him a small, slightly bulging envelope with something in it. This is for you, Edgar, dear, she whispered. Don't let anybody else see it. Edgar thought he saw a tear run down his mother's cheek as she waved goodbye. In the train on the way to school, Edgar opened the envelope. In it was a tiny, furry, red bear. With the bear, there was a letter. It read, Dear Edgar, this is Red Bear. He is very tiny, and he will keep you company at school. He is so small that he will be able to tuck into your bedclothes where nobody else will ever be able to see him. He can also hide in your pocket. Don't tell anybody else about him. I am sure he will be a good little companion. He will comfort you and protect you. With love, from Mummy. Edgar kissed Red Bear and put him in his pocket. At school, Edgar was shown to his dormitory. There were lots of boys there who were sad like him. They all tried not to cry. Edgar, when he was trying not to cry, put his hand into his pocket and squeezed Red Bear very tightly. That night, Edgar tucked Red Bear away secretly into his bedclothes just in time, because at that very moment the school bully came into the dormitory to introduce himself to the new boys, or the squits, as he called them. The school bully's name was Grunvelt. He was followed by several other big boys. Any of you squits bring a teddy bear to school, said Grunvelt casually. Edgar, very un casually, said nothing. Yes, sir, said one of the new boys. Oh, let me see him. What's his name? Freddy, sir, said the new boy, showing him a large, cuddly teddy bear. Oh, Freddy! And Grunvelt took the teddy and threw him out of the window. It was raining. Grunvelt and the other big boys laughed. The little boy tried not to cry, but wasn't very good at it. Squit! You're at school now, Squit, shouted Grunvelt. You don't cry and you don't have teddy bears. 
Edgar was glad he didn't have bijou, kaiju, zhu, zhenui, boajou, and poo. He clung hard to Red Bear in his bed, squeezing him for dear life. Any other squit bring a teddy bear to school? said Grunvelt, looking at Edgar. Edgar trembled. Grunvelt pulled the covers off of Edgar. Where's your bear, squit? But Edgar held Red Bear tight in his hand, and he was so small that nobody could see him. As Grunvelt and the other big boys went around stealing the other new boys' bears, Edgar held Red Bear tight, and nobody ever saw him. That night in bed, after the lights had been turned off and Grunvelt and the big boys had left all the new boys to lay in their beds and cry, even Edgar cried. However, only Edgar still had a teddy bear to comfort him, and Edgar clung to Red Bear tightly, tightly, tightly all night, and Red Bear whispered comfortingly and protectively into Edgar's ear as he cried, I love you, Edgar. I love you, Edgar. For all the time that he was at school, Edgar kept Red Bear in his pocket, or in his bedclothes, and Red Bear protected and comforted Edgar and kept him company. Nobody ever knew Red Bear existed. When Edgar and Red Bear went home in the holidays, Red Bear played with Bijou Kajoujou, Genoui Bouajou and Pooh. Eventually, as Edgar got older, he stopped playing with Bijou Kaiju, Genoui Bouajou, and Pooh. And eventually, when he became very old and went off to university, he gave Bijou Kaiju, Genoui Bouajou, and Pooh away to new homes. But he never gave Red Bear away. Red Bear always stayed very close and always protected and comforted him. And nobody ever knew Red Bear existed. One day, Edgar and his new wife had a son. I was his son. Fortunately, I was not born in Victorian England and did not have to call Edgar Sir. I called him Daddy. Nor did Edgar send me away to school. He kept me at home and I went to school nearby. I had four teddies named Snowy, Cuddy, Froggy and Grunveld that I played with whenever I wanted to, and nobody ever teased me about them. When Edgar was very old, he called me into his room, and he showed me on his mantle, sitting there, partly obscured by a ship in a bottle, a tiny little red bear. This is red bear, he said to me. It was given to me by my mummy when I was sent away to school, he said, and he told me the story of Red Bear. Red Bear was old now, and he had been loved so much that he was very worn, and most of his fur had fallen off, and he was bald and a little dilapidated. I want you to have Red Bear, Edgar said to me. I do not need him anymore. You, perhaps, should not put him in your pocket because he's old now, but even on your mantelpiece he will protect and comfort you if you should ever need it. I am giving him to you because I love you. I love you too, Daddy, I said to Edgar. 
I have had Red Bear for many years now, and he is older and balder and even more dilapidated. But he has protected and comforted me, and now I have a child, and you are my child, and today I give Red Bear to you, and he will love you, and he will comfort you, and he will always protect you. I give him to you because I love you, Daddy. One moment. Thank you for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Please be very well. <laughs>